Alright, so in this I'm going to do a review and thrust test of the NTN Prop Drive 2826-1200kV motor from Hobby King, brushless outrunner. Um, I'm going to do a test with an 8 by 45 inch prop. Um, this is my beautiful testing rig. I modeled, modeled it off of the one I saw the guys on flight test use, so basically the sides are equal, so it shouldn't um, give any odd thrust results. I have it hooked down to a scale, which I'll zero out. So I'm going to use a 3 cell, a 4 cell. I have my ESC hooked up to it, running through to the receiver, and then I have the, the ESC hooked up through this uh, amp and watt meter. So we're going to measure out the uh, the peak amps and watts, and I'll I'll do a measurement at around half throttle as well, because I mostly use uh, these motors for quadcopters and tricopters, multi rotors. So it'd be interesting to see what the the midpoint is, which is typically where you want your hover to be. So uh, so you have a good amount of resolution. Um, okay, next up I'll uh, fire it up. I guess before that I should just talk a little bit about the motor. They're, uh, they're from Hobby King. These were I believe around 15 bucks each. Um, they come with bullet connectors. These wires here are not silicon. They're just kind of a just a regular wire which isn't too bad. Just that silicon would have been a little nicer. Um, it doesn't come with the mounting kit. So the mounting kit is for I think a, I think it's about a buck fifty or something, and it comes with this mounting plate that you can screw on. I have it zip tied. Um, the the propeller hub, the spinner, I guess you could call it, and it mounts directly onto the case of the brushless outrunner. Um, what else is there? That's really about it that comes with it for the mounting kit. The motor itself, I got the short shaft version. You can get it with a shaft that protrudes from the end, depending on your application and what you want it for. But for multi-rotors, uh, I don't need the shaft to, to protrude at the back. Um, overall, the bearings seem pretty good in them. They're not as good as like a Tiger motor or a Sunny Sky. But uh, I ordered, I think, six and well, actually, I ordered five, and actually, one of the five were iffy. Now, Hobby King did send me another replacement motor, so you know they were good on that. The quality seems pretty good. I've been using them for a while. Um, I've had about probably 20 or 30 flights on uh, one copter with it, and they seem to be running pretty well. No real uh, vibrations or weird sounds or anything with the bearings, but I'm not sure what the quality will be like in the long term. But so far, they seemed okay, um, and for the price, eh, it's not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to come back. I'm going to plug everything in, and then we'll uh, we'll proceed with the thrust test. Okay, we're back. We have everything plugged in. We have our scale zeroed out amp meter is ready to go. We're running the first test on a 3 cell, 8 by 4.5 inch prop. Um, that's the only one I props I have on hand at the moment, so that's what we'll run both the 4 cell and the 3 cell test on. So let's fire this up to 50% and then uh, take a measurement. So it said our max amps were around 4 amps, and that was at 300, I forget exactly, but I think it's 396 grams, or, or, or around that. Um, I'll review the video and you'll be able to see. Well, actually, you would have watched the video and you would have uh, saw what it is. So, next let's take it back up to full throttle. So here we go. So at full throttle we were pulling 
13.9 amps and the thrust was I don't remember what the thrust was actually but I think it was like 800 maybe a little bit more than that so next let's fire it up with 4 cell okay now we're all plugged in with the 4 cell zeroed out let's run this up to 50% see what we get and I think I'm gonna stand back with this because the 4 cell the 3 cell was kinda of scary the 4 cell I can't believe like when it's on a copter it just goes like stinks so uh, let's see what happens So our thrust was around 570 and our max amps was 590 and again this is with a 8 by 4.5 inch prop. Alright let's run it up to 100% full throttle. So around 1150 grams of thrust and we peaked out at 20 amps so that tells me that we shouldn't be running this on a 20 amp uh, ESC on 4 cell that uh, we're gonna have to switch that over right now I'm running all 20s but uh, I have some 30s that I'll switch over to so uh, these little motors really pull some amperage um, so yeah hopefully this helps you out um, not a bad motor, actually incredibly fast motor for, uh, for your smaller copters and uh, it draws quite a few amps on a 4 cell so especially on an 8 by 4.5 inch prop you probably wouldn't want to go any bigger than that because uh, I think these motors they actually uh, I actually think they're rated for around 20 amps might even be 18 amps, so uh, we might actually be over pushing this motor now that I think about it. Uh, I'll look it up online and just check out the spec. Okay, so I was curious, so I had to go look up this motor and uh, just check the specs. Because when I was originally specking this motor out, I thought I could run it on a 4 cell with a 20 amp ESC. Um, now maybe my prop pitch is a little too high, so I looked it up. stupid light out of the way um, so as you can see I'm on the Hobby King website it's the NTM prop drive 2826A 1200KV 286 watts so as I scroll down onto the spec sheet it says that the max current is actually 17 amps so I'm 3 amps above that on a 4 cell with an 8 by 4.5 inch prop it says the recommended ESC is 20 amps and the prop test that they did when you look at the 8x4e now I'm 0.5 more on a 4 cell they're drawing 222 watts at 15 amps so I'm on a 4.5 so I'm over just a tiny tiny bit but it's drawing an extra 5 amps now keep in mind that's at full throttle I seldom ever run my copter at full throttle because, well, you wouldn't even see it. So far I haven't had any problems, like I said, I had about 20 to 30 flights on these motors, no issues at all, so your mileage might vary, but uh, if you're worried about it, but you, you, know, you don't want to go over spec from what they recommend, go with the 8x4 inch prop and uh, according to this it says you should draw 15 amps. I don't know, I'm a little suspect on these numbers. Your mileage may vary, like I said, but that's kind of the testing I've done. And uh, I actually put my hand on the motor and it doesn't seem very hot. I don't know. Who knows? It's the, uh, it's Hobby King quality, so your mileage may vary, like I said. Anyways, that's my review on this motor and hopefully this kind of helped out some people. Maybe it confused the hell out of you. But anyways, good luck and uh, thanks for watching. One last test. So it's always kind of fun to stand in front of the prop to see what, it, how much, uh, <laughs> how much wind noise it really makes. It kind of gives you an idea of just the thrust with this motor.
Anyways, thanks for watching.